Let us now look at question 3. Let us read the question together. The diagram below shows two PV isotherms for a fixed mass of ideal gas. The graph which shows no heat supplied, so this is the keyword, no heat supplied, to the ideal gas as it goes from state M to N is which graph? Now, we can't actually read off Q directly from the graph. So what we can get is uh, things like work done and since it's ideal gas, also internal energy. But here we are just determining the process. So what does it mean by no heat supply? Okay, it means Q equals to zero. And previous or previously in our lectures, we have seen that this is known as the adiabatic process. So one quick way to do this question is to eliminate the processes that are non-adiabatic and see whether we can come up with the answer. So let's look at option A. So in option A, what we can see that the volume is constant. So this is an isochoric process or an isovolumetric process. So this is not an adiabatic process. Let's look at option B now. For option B, we can see that this is a horizontal line and it means that P is actually constant. So this is actually an isobaric process and therefore B is also eliminated. Now for option C, we can see that M to N lies actually on an isotherm. So this is an isothermal process. And what it means is that the T is constant. So it means that D must be the answer. Okay. So one you, what we may actually ask is then why is it that the temperature actually falls? So to learn a little bit more, what we can do is look at what happens in for an ideal gas um, when no heat is supplied. So in general, we know that the first law of thermodynamics states that the increase in internal energy of a system is equal to the heat supplied to the system plus work done on the system. Okay, For an adiabatic process, Q is equal to zero. So what we simply have is that the increase in internal energy is equal to the work done on the system. So in this case, we see from N to N, what we have is that the volume actually increases. So what we have is actually positive work is done by the system. And when positive work is done by the system, what we have is we have negative work is done on the system. So from the first law, what we can also see is that the increase in internal energy is actually negative. Now since this is an ideal gas, for an ideal gas, the increase in internal energy can be written as solely the increase in kinetic energy of the system since for ideal gases, the potential intermolecular forces are negligible and therefore the change in, internal, uh, change in potential energy of the system is actually zero or potential energy is negligible. And since um, change in Q is negative, so change in Ke is negative, and generally, the Ke is proportional to the temperature of the system. And this would imply that the change in temperature of the system is negative and it implies that the temperature ever actually falls. So the system must go from a point of higher temperature, higher temperature, T2, to a point of lower temperature. And this is why for adiabatic process, you, if you compare it with an isothermal process, 
you can also see that it's actually steeper in slope